Yo, and welcome to Conversion Corner. Today I'm going to show you how I saved around about 66% on the price of a Deathwing Terminator squad. Now, I recently purchased the Deathwing Command Squad, which I made into these Deathwing Knights. And that leaves you with a lot of spare parts. So, what I did was, I bought another set of Dark Vengeance Terminators, which are quite statically posed. There's not much you can do with them without some chopping up. Or is there? Let's see what I did. So, with this guy, he's supposed to be pointing his gun forwards, but I've switched his arm around with one of the others. So, he does not look identical to the other Chain Fist Terminator, which is a nice touch. Followed by this guy, which you may recognise as the Terminator who's supposed to have an assault cannon, but not anymore. He's got an arm swap as well, so he now only has his Storm Bolter. Next up, we're getting into the serious conversion work now. This is the extremely static Terminator from Dark Vengeance. You get two of them that are identical. So with this guy, I switched his chest plate and his head with spare pieces from the Deathwing Command Squad box. So he's not facing the same way. Next, this is where I actually did some chopping. The sergeant, I've taken his headdress away very carefully with various modelling tools. And I've used the arm, spare arm pieces from the Deathwing Command Squad to give him a gun that points forwards instead of down at the ground. So he looks different from the other sergeant. And the big one now. Here he is. It's one of the two identical Dark Vengeance Terminators, but again with a replaced chest plate and head. And he also has the Dark Vengeance Sergeant's gun. Because if anyone needs to have a scope, then it's the guy with the huge missile launcher, I say. And then obviously, as you can see, he has the Cyclone missile launcher which I obviously did not use on the Deathwing Knights because they're not even allowed any guns. And <clears throat> that is all I made, but that doesn't have to be the end of the story because there's still a ton of spare pieces here. So if I could get my hands on some spare legs and backs, I'm sure I could make quite a few more Terminators out of these pieces. Spare lightning claws, thunder hammer, Heavy Flamer, Plasma Cannon, lots of Power Fists, Spare Shoulder Pads, Spare Fronts, Spare Heads, Swords, Banner, you just get a ton of stuff. So I definitely recommend buying the Deathwing Command Squad, and then also buying a set of Dark Vengeance Terminators. So you can save yourself a goodly amount of money. Toodaloo!